September 26th, the go of reconciliation. If you remember that your brother has something against you, Matthew 5, verse 23. This verse says, if you bring your gift to the altar and there is something that your brother has against you, it is not saying, if you search and find something because of your unbalanced sensitivity, but if you remember. In other words, if something is brought to your conscious mind by the Spirit of God, first be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Matthew 5, verse 24. Never object to the intense sensitivity of the Spirit of God in you when he is instructing you down to the smallest detail. First be reconciled to your brother. Our Lord's directive is simple. First be reconciled. He says, in effect, go back the way you came, the way indicated to you by the conviction given to you at the altar. Have an attitude in your mind and soul toward the person who has something against you that makes reconciliation as natural as breathing. Jesus did not mention the other person. He says for you to go. It is not a matter of your rights. The true mark of the saint is that he can waive his own rights and obey the Lord Jesus, and then come and offer your gift. The process of reconciliation is clearly marked. First we have the heroic spirit of self-sacrifice, then the sudden restraint by the sensitivity of the Holy Spirit, and then we are stopped at the point of our conviction. This is followed by obedience to the Word of God, which builds an attitude or state of mind that places no blame on the one with whom you have been in the wrong. And finally, there is the glad, simple, unhindered offering of your gift to God.